Good morning. It's a beautiful cloudy day today. Windy too. This is good weather. It's a pre-monsoon like weather. Better to have a cool day, cool and windy day like this than a hot sweaty day. This is a nice day to make a day in my life video I think. It's my usual daily vlog of course but today I had a visitor very early in the morning. One of my neighbors wanted a couple of leaves from the banana tree and so I was up very early. Not something that happens on a Sunday morning no. <laughs> so I'm going to do my usual starting with my stretches and a little bit of pranayam and yoga asanas which I start with in bed when I'm waking up itself. It's absolutely ripe and ready to eat. And I don't know if I can show this to you here. All juicy and it's almost melted. It's that ripened. So I'm, I'm going to have to spoon it up. Mmm! I don't think I've ever had a papaya so sweet. This is so much better than a dessert. And yet, because of the fiber in the papaya, it's going to take time to get digested. So it's not going to give me a sugar rush. With the activity that is required for digesting the fiber, it's all going to get used up as energy. Besides that, my brunch is oatmeal. One of my favorite meals, really. And the babies also love it. So it's going to be their lunch today. So I've soaked um, about six tablespoons of um, oats in milk. So that's just easier to cook it. And then I add a little bit of water to this. So I like it a little thinner, not too dry. That's the consistency here. And I'm going to crush a few almonds and cashews. That's about it. So the oats have almost melted down. And these are your regular Quaker oats. So you just have to make sure that it doesn't scrape or doesn't get stuck to the bottom of the pan. And I take a thick steel pan, which is actually copper based. Cooking oats in a non-stick pan really doesn't make sense because in any case it is going to stick to the bottom if it is drying up at the base. Steel is the best thing really to cook it in. You see, it's getting thicker and it's starting to stick at the base as well now. The base and the sides, both. See, there's a slight boil coming up. That's all I want. That's it, it's done. We pour it out immediately before it gets thicker yet because then it's going to congeal. And stir it up gently though because I have raisins at the bottom. And I'm going to only take the upper parts for the dogs. Both of them love it, especially Lasia. She's very fond of this. And oats is actually good for dogs as well. In many, many ways, it's good for their stomach for digestion easy to digest and it's got a lot of fiber so now that i have their bowls ready i'm just going to add the nuts into my bowl here 
Let's go. Come, Pema. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, come on out. Uh-huh. Go, Lassie. Go. Go in the garden. <laughs> go that side. Okay, Lassa's hair is all in her face. Because her rubber band broke. Good girl, Lassie. Shabash. Eating your oats. Yummy, yummy. Pema, where are you? Come out from under the bed. Pepper, come on out. And who's hiding under here? Ha ha! Now we've got the flash on. There you are. Chup 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 ke bed gayi hai. Eh? Come. Eat your oats over here only. ठीक है? Afterwards, I'll have to remove the bowl with the stick from there. I think for dinner, what am I going to do? Since I'm making dinner today, it's going to be a Sindhi meal, sel dab roti, which is basically pav. I have pav in the fridge. It's not fresh pav, and that's actually what we need for sel dab roti. We have two forms of gravy for sel. One is the tomato, so you can either make it with. Uh, onion and tomato gravy i prefer only tomatoes i i'm not so fond of onions and the other form is uh, a green base so that is with cilantro or coriander you know the green chutney base <laughs> that you make and it turns out amazing i have to tell you that of course but today since i am outside right now in the garden itself i'm just going to pick a few garlic chives i have tons of garlic chives growing out in the backyard here plus okay i can add some basil also you don't normally add basil of course but yes curry patta i need curry patta okay thanda happening okay let me get on with this quickly of course before it starts to rain or anything it's windy we get the chives first the chives have been flowering too and for the first time in 8 or 9 years now the chives seem to be reproducing and how i'm going to take a few from here mhm mm i need a few more Let me take from this bunch here. This is the oldest bunch, of course, one of the oldest ones. Hmm. We have the bitter gourd plant growing up over here now. Karela. Look at this going up, and this one is flowering. Good. I hope we get a good harvest of uh, bitter gourd. What else did I need? I forgot. <laughs> Basil. And curry patta. I have the neighbors' kids playing outside. Hmm, lovely. Very beautiful, and it smells so amazing. So the evening chai has ginger and lemongrass added to it. Ye ho gayi chai. So I like to add cold milk over my black tea actually. And that's something I learned to do during hostel time. Actually in the hostel of course we were not using much of fresh milk. It used to be powdered milk. So 
the habit has still remained, of course. And it's a beautiful rainy evening today, just after five now. So I think I'm going to sit out in the veranda and enjoy my tea today. Mm. Cloudy out there. Not just cloudy, it's thundering out there. With the light rain. It's a little more than a drizzle actually. It's a beautiful evening though. And again. Three, two, one, go. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wait, yeah. what is that donkey donkey thing? Can we can we do that also? Okay. Cake chahiye, shabar shabar bolii. Bilkul I want cake. Cake. So we had a Zoom party for one of my uh, former students' birthday, and now. In the kitchen, I've got to boil eggs for the babies and then start cooking my dinner as well. Ow! Hot, hot. A lot of mosquitoes around today. Yeah, the garden door was open while I was sitting out. I can't use those uh, mosquito rackets to sort of zap them because these girls get afraid of the noise. Lassie used to run around wanting to run out of the house every time I would have that bat zapping away. Come baby. Come, come, come. Good girl. So I have all my material here ready for making sell the broti. And I'm going to show you everything stepwise so you get the recipe as well. I hope you're going to try it out and let me know in the comments below how it went for you. So first thing here, I'm going to break up the pow. Now this is of course uh, made with uh, maida or uh, white flour which is not such a healthy thing. But since I'm balancing it out with some of the herbs... And of course the tomatoes that go into it. Uh, and it's a once in a while meal. Acceptable. <laughs> but you can make it with uh, brown bread or whole wheat bread or multigrain bread as well. Besides uh, with chapati. And that's sail mani. So that's the pow ready. Yeah? But this of course is the best in taste. Next are the herbs. I'm going to chop them up. Garlic chives and Italian basil chopped finely. I have curry patta over here. Uh, two cubes of tomatoes which are almost as good as three large tomatoes or three medium tomatoes actually. Oil, a little bit of oil will go into this as well. A glass of water, that's all you would require for this much of power as well then. salt, turmeric, dhania powder, jeera powder and a pinch of red chilli powder. Oh, this is just for colour. So the gravy is getting cooked over here on a gentle flame. So the gravy is ready. All of the spices are well mixed in. Also the herbs. And at this point I'm going to add 
a glass of water to this. And bring it to a boil. I'm going to quickly finish this here. This is boiled up well. It doesn't take long. In fact, this is a brunch meal, breakfast or brunch really. And uh, But you can take it at any time of the day. Just need to cover up all of the pow so that it gets all the masalas in as well. I'm going to turn the flame down now. Make sure that everything is covered well in there. That's it. The lid goes back on for about a couple of minutes really. That's it. It's done then. So I have my dinner ready and I'm going to go enjoy this. Let me just test this here or taste it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really awesome. Mm. Do try out this recipe for sel de broti or sel mani. If you'd like to make it with rotis and let me know in the comments as well what you think of this. And do have some oats as well. It's really healthy for you. Try it out. I'll come up with more recipes for oats as well soon. So if you've enjoyed this post, then do give a like and share the video as well with your friends and loved ones. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hit the red button there. Let me know that you appreciate what I'm doing. It actually does help. It motivates me to do more, to share more as well. I'll see you soon with more. Enjoy your weekend. Ciao.